Hello guys, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I'm an anesthesiologist and uh, this video is about the scope of anesthesia observership programs in other countries like USA, Canada and uh, uh, UK. So first of all, let us discuss, so why should somebody do an uh, observership in other country? So there are several advantages for that and who should do it? So who should do is anesthesia postgraduates during the training can also try this. Must be pretty expensive, but if you have enough money, you can try this. And uh, the people who have actually passed out and doing your SR ships in other hospitals also can uh, do these things. And even anesthesia consultants or associate consultants also, if you go to some other country and you know stay there for some time and observe, uh, you know what uh, the anesthesia practices are in other countries, it will actually benefit you in several ways. So the number one benefit, uh, what I feel is, see you are actually trained in one place and uh, most of my audience are from India so you are trained in several places of India so by going in and staying with uh, you know anesthetists in other countries like uh, USA and uh, UK you would actually know what kind of differences are there in their systems and what kind of uh, protocols they follow you will understand and uh, techniques wise also what advanced equipments they are having so you'll at least understand uh, uh, your level of uh, training whether it is on par with them or are you uh, slightly inferior or, or what uh, is uh, your exact status you'll come to know so that is uh, one advantage and second thing is in your cv uh, it looks great if you have an observership in a hospital like you know cleveland clinic or you know some great ormond street in uk so it, it uh, builds your it uh, builds a lot of strength to your cv that is very important so that is about uh, who should do and why somebody should do these things and uh, why CV if you ask me if you have a very good CV then getting into good hospitals and major corporate hospitals gets very easy for you so uh, I actually recommend uh, you know fresh pass out from MD anesthesia or even during a post graduation uh, rather than going to hospitals within the country if you can go abroad and do an observership it will be very helpful for you it will get you a different perspective about anesthesia as well and I'm not degrading the hospitals within India. I'm just trying to tell you that uh, by you can uh, see on my screen. So these are the anesthesia observership opportunities and alternatives. So these uh, this article I'll put in the description, and uh, also I'll put one uh, you know <coughs> WhatsApp uh, link in the description. You can actually enter that WhatsApp link. It'll enter into the community which I formed in the WhatsApp. It makes my job easier. I can put all these articles easily there than uploading in the description. <clears throat> so you can see here. So these are the centers which are offering anesthesia observership. So uh, MD Anderson uh, Cancer Research, Research Center and University of uh, Texas, Houston in uh, Texas, Cleveland Clinic and uh, in Cleveland and Drexel University, Massachusetts uh, General Hospital in Boston and University of Florida. So all these hospitals are one, you know, they might be in the top 10 in the world or maybe top 20. These, these are one of the best uh, uh, universities for anesthesia training. So doing observership here and having the name in your CV will greatly, uh, you know, boost your CV. See, I'll just uh, go into, so even in this article, there are links actually. You can actually go into the link and it will just, uh, you know enter into the website of that particular hospital and uh, let me just show you how the McAnderson Center uh, looks like so you can see here McAnderson uh, uh, anesthesiology and critical care observership program so these are the uh, addresses this article I'll put in the description or in the whatsapp community also I'll put the forward so what uh, so you'll be rotating in the anesthesiology and perioperative medicine and you'll be attending the grand rounds and you'll be attending the critical care of their hospital and pain medicine as well and uh, observership appointment is one month so one month you should have proficiency in english you need to pay an amount of 500 dollars for one week and every additional week you need to pay 500 dollars that pretty that is okay i feel so so this is how uh, typical observership uh, looks like. So how you, you need to apply is, the addresses are here. You just have to mail them, showing your interest in the observership and further process they will let you know. US visa is mandatory. 
But the thing is, if you have an absorption program in your hand, if you have an invitation from the particular hospital, you will be given uh, the visa easily. And uh, most of the times you will get a 5 year visa or 10 year visa. So that visa is also very helpful for you in your further education. Not education, you can further vi visiting USA multiple times. So that is about uh, the <coughs> observership in USA. So, so you can also see this host anesthesiology. And uh, here uh, they have given the timings. The day starts at 7.30 a.m. And uh, the ending time is not there. Maybe uh, it depends on the case uh, which you are attending. So you'll be posted with a, a board certified anesthesiologist and you'll be working with them. So they will teach you how to actually take patient histories, physical examinations, and uh, operating room anesthesia, being involved in patient education. There's so many areas are there. They would be training you. This is another hospital. So these are some of the observerships in the USA. So next in Canada, if you see, this is the particular uh, university, University of Toronto in Canada also offers uh, observership programs. And this is the particular website for that. There are several hospitals, Sunnybrook Health Science Center, hospital for sick kids. So for people who are interested in pediatric anesthesia, this is a good hospital, Mount Sinai Hospital. And you can see several hospitals are there. And in UK, so this is a very good hospital, Gosh, Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children. So they take observers, you can see on the screen, one to two week observerships are offered for at Gosh. And uh, you know, there are so many, uh, uh, you can go through the article and more details are there. And this is the particular uh, mail you need to show, uh, you know, you have to send an email to this particular email and show your interest and further process, they will let you know. So this is about the observerships in Gosh. One to two weeks you can go for people who are interested in pediatric anesthesia. And uh, this is uh, Augusta University in Georgia. Georgia is located in uh, Western Europe. So even they have uh, anesthesia postgraduate observership. So it's a pay for a period of 30 days. And uh, you know, uh, for foreign medical graduates, so you need to have some kind of a TOEFL score and uh, must have completed USMLE steps one and two. I think. Uh, you know, this is a very uh, pretty tough process. The previous, uh, to go to USA and uh, Canada and gosh, you don't require to write any particular exams for that. So this is, uh, uh, these are the different uh, hospitals where you can actually, you know, do your observership. So all the links I'll paste in the description. I'll try to paste and uh, surely in the WhatsApp community, if you enter in that, uh, all the links I'll put in the community. So this is about uh, the observership program after the MD anesthesia or during the MD anesthesia also you can do if you are okay with the money that you have to spend. <clears throat> so uh, if you want to connect with me then I uh, Instagram is the location Masabu Dheeraj uh, and each and every person I actually respond and uh, message you. So this even this video I am doing as uh, uh, you know uh, response to one of the questions which came up in the Instagram. I hope that person is watching this video. Uh, kindly share the video with multiple people if you are listening to this. So thank you guys. As usual, Dr. Dheeraj Masapu logging off.